next guest is a talented young lady with a popular new series, We Were the Lucky Ones, is on Hulu now. Please welcome Joey King. <laughs> Good to see you. It's good to see you too. Congratulations. I know you got married since the last time I saw you. I did. Thank you so much. Is that going well? It's fabulous. Good, good. Newlywed Very good. life is great. I don't know why more people aren't doing this. I heard your grandma's here with you too. She's tonight, right there. Huh? Oh, there she is. Hi there. How are you? Is this your favorite? Favorite grandma? It's my it's my only grandma. Oh, all right, yeah. Uh, but she's also my favorite. But she's <laughs> she's here. I'm so happy she's here, and she's so like, she's the best. She's so proud of me. This show is like, you know, we were the lucky ones. My new room. Um, she's just so happy. That... I get it. Yeah, this is something that your grandma probably, you know, this is the sort of feels thing that, personally. This is a heavy subject. Well, explain what it is for those who do, who don't know. So we were the lucky ones is a show. It's a true story based on Georgia Hunter's novel about her family. Uh, her family is a Polish Jewish family who all got separated during the Holocaust and all survived. It's just it's it's truly like. An amazing, amazing story, and I just, it was such a, it was such a beautiful show to film, but it was also, you know, very, very heavy. Yeah. When you film something like that, it, it's, you know, I don't want to sound precious, obviously, but it does take an emotional toll, but at the same time, the least we can do as actors is feel that emotional toll because we're not actually experiencing it, we're just portraying it. So it was a, it was an honor. That's interesting that you say that. Yeah, I think that people have probably different reactions. Like, sometimes I'll speak to actors about being in a horror movie and there's n nothing scary about it and they just have fun the whole time. But this is like a, a, a horrible, obviously. Uh... I think the, 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 it's different when it's a true story. Like right. you just feel this responsibility to really just kind of, but we did have moments of, you know, I did, I did uh, uh, thankfully get like some break. I had like a rare, like three days off in the middle of filming and I, it's a hard headspace to be in for such a long time. I was in Romania and like my family wasn't there. My husband was at home. And so with these three days off, I was like, I really want to just like go somewhere. Where did you go? Well, okay. So I, I was like, I miss my husband. I was like, let's go to somewhere. Let's have a romantic getaway. Like, let's go somewhere fabulous. And we're both huge foodies. So we were like, where should we go? So we decided like, let's go to Barcelona. It's a great food city. Mm -hmm. And because we're such foodies, we thought... Why not, like, right when we get off the plane, let's have a reservation set up uh, for one of the uh, best restaurants in the world. Um, and so... <laughs> I'm guessing it disappointed? I don't know. Jimmy, uh, I'm foreshadowing. Yeah, sometimes, you know, um, you get, like... Yeah, you get will get like excited because you read about a place and then you. Well, yeah. it really was one of the best restaurants in the world. It was. Oh, so okay. I mean that's what they say. So basically, <laughs> we go there and we are just we're so pumped, and we get there. It's twenty eight courses. Oh wow! It's twenty eight. I just want to repeat myself. It's twenty eight courses, and even so, for me, that's uh, pushing lot. it. That's it was too too many. For it's me. a lot, yeah. but you know what? Every single dish came out looking like an absolute work of art. It was, and there was people in the kitchen with like tweezers and like, you know, foams flying everywhere. Yeah. But none of them were speaking to each other, which was also weird, but they kept bringing out food that looked like one food, but tastes like another food. Like they brought out this thing that looked like grapes on a vine. And then we like plucked one off and like popped it in our mouth. And I was like, and I looked at the waiter and I was like, shrimp cocktail? <laughs> and he was like, yeah. And I was like, all right. So uh -huh. then, <laughs> So like we wrap up this meal and we are, we're like so full. I mean, to be honest with you, I was full at like course 17, but right. the chef is standing there and his arms are crossed. Yeah. And, then, and they work hard on that. And still no one's talking to each other. And so you just keep on eating like food that looks like other food. Does your husband help you and jump in and eat some of your stuff? No, it's my plate. If I was your I, husband, I would. Yeah, I that's still what want doing. it. Like, even though I'm, like, dying, I still, I'm like. My wife does that. It goes like this, the, you the know. The slide and across how, the and table. I'm like, the garbage like, no can. one's looking. Just yeah. get a bit. But we do, like, it was, it was an experience. We were so grateful, like, to start our vacation, our romantic getaway with this experience. And then I was like, all that's left to do is explore Barcelona and take in the city. So I'm like, let's go back to the hotel and change our shoes. So we get there. And then I'm like, whoa. Uh, whoa, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. uh, 
I think some of you are ahead of me. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> and then I realized, like, oh, God, I think I'm going to experience all 28 courses again. Yeah. I just want to say, I don't want to get graphic, but I spent way more time with the toilet than my husband <laughs> that trip. Did he get sick too? No. Oh. The lucky son of a Oh, yeah, you did seem disappointed. <laughs> he, I mean, I'm glad it was only one of us, but you know when you're that sick and you have like, you're just every noise, every smell is so irritating. So I'm in like, I'm in the thick of it. I am dying. And then from the other room, I just hear brown, 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 the Seinfeld theme song. <laughs> <laughs> so, so he's watching Seinfeld. So I come out guns a blazing. I'm like, will you turn that off? <laughs> so uh, I'm really glad that he got to have a good trip, though. <laughs> you know? Well, that's, you know what? It could have been worse. He could have been watching Chopped or something like that. I know. It, it, was, it was just, it was horrible. And then I got on the plane just haunted by the worst food poisoning in my life. Oh, wow. And this I, is crazy. I know. You know what? You can't eat a shrimp cocktail. It looks like grapes. You cannot. <laughs> I'm tired. Honestly, it ruined, not that anyone really cares, but it ruined fine dining for me. That's such an annoying thing to say. Yeah, but like, yeah. I can't, if there's foam, on a menu. I'm totally with you. I don't like foam. I don't want to eat foam. I did like foam, but I can't do it anymore. Never like foam for me. No, like, yeah, no, I appreciate it. It's beautiful. It's... But, and, uh, you know, I, I love good food, but honestly, I would rather have a hamburger, yeah, so than like, foam. But what I did to the desk, I agree. Uh, you know. But I, I love, like, it was like a show. I love the experience of it. But, like, I took all these amazing photos of this food, and I can't look at it without getting <laughs> nauseous. So I, I, didn't, I didn't have the heart to delete it, so I just put it in a hidden folder in my phone. <laughs> it's like, the funny part about this folder is it's just this meal and all the wedding dresses I didn't pick. <laughs> <laughs> It's the most random folder. What a sad, lonely folder. <laughs> it's so well, funny. it's very good to see you. Congratulations on everything other than the meal. I mean, really, everything's going <laughs> swimmingly, it sounds like. Joey King, everybody. Uh, new episodes of We Were the Lucky Ones premiere Thursdays on Hulu. We'll be back with Phosphorescent. Put on